Hello my loves, welcome to this week's video. I hope you're all doing really well. As you can see, I'm currently sat in my dressing room. This is such a little happy space for me. It's just so cozy and I always just feel very relaxed in here. So I thought I would do this week's video in here rather than my usual style hall setup. It's obviously a lot more informal, a lot more cozy, but this is where I get dressed every morning and where I try on my clothes when I buy things and show B or whoever's here. I have picked up some gorgeous new pieces from the high street for my autumn wardrobe. We have things from H&M, Mango, Massimo Duty, all of our favorite places that we know and love. So I'll run you through everything and we can style everything and yeah, so grab yourself a cup of tea or a drink and let's go. Okay, starting off with jewelry. As you guys know, if you watched my last video, I'm obsessed with jewelry and I've just organized all of my pieces so I'm so happy to add these to my collection. I'm working with Monica Vinader on this part of the video which I'm so grateful for because they are one of my favorites. They have such beautiful pieces, such good quality as well and they also have five year warranty which is just amazing so you're really looked after customer service wise. Okay so I'm going to start off with my earrings. These oh I love these. They are like this vintage style which I'm so obsessed with at the moment just loving like those chunky gold pieces because you can really wear them with anything they are the definition of classic so i have these ones which are like this kind of swirl effect these are made out of 18 karat gold for me i feel like they're subtle enough to be an everyday earring that will just go with everything but they're also bold enough to be noticeable and eye-catching i wish i saw the matching ring to these because the matching ring is so beautiful um most of my rings are kind of like quite stackable simple fine rings this one is like more of a chunky one so maybe i'll add that to my wish list and i've just paired it with these simple diamond studs again a real classic you can't go wrong i feel like you can wear these on their own with any outfit day or night what i really like about these is how they're quite like flat on your ear a lot of my diamond studs are a little bit more like kind of um, that traditional style pointed slightly sticky outy but these ones are flat and I love that about them. Um, I also picked up these earrings which I'm not wearing at the moment because I've only got two piercings but these are so cute they're so fine like the hoop is really thin and they've got like a little kind of droplet at the end which looks a little bit like an evil eye and the droplet is in a diamond and the rest is in gold I just think they're very pretty. I also picked up these two insane bracelets I feel like they need a moment for themselves i don't know if they quite go together they're very different so there's this one which is a tennis bracelet in this stunning green onyx i'd probably wear this with like maybe three four of a similar sized bracelets as a stack um and then this one which is so cool this is so chunky it's this chunky bangle from their kate young collection like look how cool that is again like my rings all of my bracelets are very dainty so i really wanted something chunky and statement and this is perfect. I think especially for occasions, if you're wearing like a sleeveless dress and you want something going on here, which maybe isn't a watch, this is perfect. And you could even get two or three of them and stack them for a different kind of look. And you know what? This would just be the most beautiful gift for somebody. I think it's so precious. And then last but not least, I picked up some new rings. So I have the classic signature Monica Vinader style ring. And in my last video, I showed this to you guys and I was like, this doesn't fit, but I love it. And the funny thing is the temperature has dropped by like seven, eight degrees since I last did that video. And now it fits. So I've just stacked it with my new ring, which is this beautiful, like flattened, almost like a chain kind of look. Um, but I think it's very pretty. It's really good for stacking. I love these two together. And then I got another stacking ring, but this one has diamonds going all the way around it which i just think is really pretty it just matches all of my other jewelry so perfect everything i mentioned will be linked down below in the description box and i have a code as well with monica vinida um which i'll put on the screen and again down below okay so now should we move on to clothes okay let's start off with h&m because that's what i'm wearing this knit is my new favorite thing in the world and i need it in every color because it is so cozy and so warm it's made out of a mohair blend and i did check the mohair from h&m is ethically sourced um, but I just love this. The shape of it is perfect. Such a good totem dupe. It looks way more expensive than it actually is. It is on the more pricey side of H&M. I think this was around £100. But knitwear is definitely one of those things I'm happy to spend more money on because I love it and wear it so much. You're probably thinking, Kate, you have one, two, three, four jumpers in the background that look the same as this. And do you know what, guys? You're right. I do. As I mentioned, I wear them so much and the ones in the background are all different um 
fits and cuts and they have buttons and all sorts so look how long the sleeves are i just love a long sleeve because then when you put it here look at like the gathering of the fabric there's something about that that i really like i wear this in a size small and i definitely could have gone up a size because i don't know i like it when it, this sits just a little bit longer on me but yeah just in case you guys also like your knits to be a bit longer as well go for a size up i ordered this i literally pressed copy and paste from the model on the website because she was also wearing it these jeans now h&m denim is one of my favorite places i love abercrombie h&m and everlane um h&m is definitely the cheapest by far these were under 20 pounds which is insane because i've got another pair of these they last really well you would never guess they were £20. So what I love about them is they are very high-waisted. And look how, like, tapered they are. They're like a skinny, but not a skinny. Yeah, I don't actually have a super dark pair of jeans. And I think these are perfect for the autumn. And I love how well they go with the brown. I would recommend sizing up in these. I'm usually a size 6 in H&M. But they just felt a bit tight. And I knew that if I was going to wash them, they'd get even tighter. And it was just verging on uncomfortable. So these are a tiny bit big. But I think that's good because it gives me a bit of wiggle room. And if I wash them and they shrink at all, then we're going to be fine. I styled this outfit with my Chanel Ballet Flats. I'm wearing one like this because I have a really bad blister. <laughs> and it is very painful and then yeah i would just pair it with a black bag as well because you guys know i like to match my shoes with my bag to tie in the outfit as a whole and make it look more put together you could also wear this with trainers thick loafers some boots as well would also be really nice okay guys so the uggs are back out and i'm so happy about it i've really missed them for some reason this outfit reminds me of my dad it's like super cozy and cash i think actually my dad probably has this outfit he also has uggs inspired by me and his favorite color is navy so maybe that's why so i also picked up this big oversized cozy navy knit from h&m which also goes so nicely with the blue jeans and the chestnut brown uggs um this one is in a size medium and this is like the perfect level of oversized nest for me it's just a super easy throw on kind of jumper for autumn uh, you can dress it up or down. At the moment, it's obviously dressed down, but you can dress it up as well with... I wore this recently with wide leg and navy tailored trousers, high heeled boots and a navy blazer, and it looked so chic. So yeah, it's definitely a nice and versatile piece. I think they also have other colours in this, but it's um, nice and soft, a lot thinner than the mohair knit. Oh, that reminds me as well, when I posted that on my Instagram, you guys were asking um, if it was itchy or not and i always struggle to answer these questions because i don't want to give the wrong answer but because everyone's different but personally i don't find it itchy and this one isn't itchy at all either I just added my little louis vuitton bag and i think that ties in the outfit really nicely together this is the kind of thing i just wear like on a sunday going to get coffee with b grabbing lunch with my boyfriend going to the cinema that kind of thing next up are these gray trousers from h&m again i have these in beige and i absolutely loved them in the summer like a beige linen so i thought these would be perfect for my winter capsule wardrobe these are really inexpensive again i think these are 20 pounds such a great basic to have i just find they fit really well they're good if you're petite as well i'm five foot four and you know they're not too long on the ankle so if you are taller than five foot four um, maybe go a size up or something just in case they come up a little bit short. But yeah, I really love the pleats that go down that make them look super smart. But equally, you can also dress these down and wear it with like a nice cosy knit, some trainers. But I actually think these would be the perfect office wear piece. Uh, they have so many different colours in these as well. The black ones are also really good. I'm wearing my Chanel ballet flats. This um, is a basic from Naked. They're one of my favourite places for um, like these style t-shirts. This is covered in bunny fluff. But yeah, just a really simple and smart outfit. You could also throw on a blazer over the top of this, have your work bag. Okay, so the look really kind of ties in when you add a bag. Um, this is the Demelia midi bag, but if you have an office job and you wanna carry your laptop, the larger style version of this would be so perfect as an everyday good quality office wear bag. Just to show you guys another way of styling the trousers in a more kind of casual sense, I'm wearing this old knit again from H&M and um, my Axel Arigato trainers. And I mean, to be honest, I think you could still wear this to the office depending on your job, but just as a more 
everyday casual look i think this looks really nice also such a sucker for like all tonal looks at the moment so like all gray all browns i think it's such a nice way of dressing especially in the autumn i've had my eye on this h&m blazer for well i think since it came out i'm obsessed with the texture of it like can you see how it's that really like fluffy kind of aged fluff kind of look if that makes any sense this definitely comes up oversized i got this in a small and as you can see it's quite big but i kind of like that because it means i could wear tights and then use it as a bit of a like dress kind of situation and then you've just got the two big pockets the collar and i just love this this is definitely staying i've paired it with a hoodie underneath because i love mixing like more smart pieces and tailoring with quite casual items like hoodies i just think it's such a vibe in the winter and then wearing my leggings these ones are from these ones are from we are commando we are commando and spanx are my two favorites for like outerwear leggings i have leggings for in the house and leggings for out the house because these are thicker they i don't know they just feel more appropriate to wear outside and then these boots are new and i absolutely love them these ones are from massimo duty they are that riding boot style that i'm obsessed with and it has these elastics let me just up the brightness there we go yeah you have that elastic that goes all the way up the side and then i like the little detail at the back these little gold kind of thingies if you've been here a while you will know i have loved and used my new look boots for years now and they've just they've had their time they are slightly ruined and they weren't real leather or anything like that so to be fair they did stand quite a good test of time but these ones that i'm wearing now these were a bit more pricey but they are real leather so i know these are going to last really really well I had a lot of questions about sizing on my instagram when i posted in these and they're true to size but i would go for like half a size or a size up if you like to wear thick socks but yeah i love them new favorite boots you're going to see me in these a lot for sure um oh i think like if i belted this outfit that would also look really nice should we try that okay yeah i definitely love this look belted as well i think it looks really nice add something to the outfit and like i said before i also think um this as more of a dress with tights and boots would also look really nice this dress has been sat in my new in rail for about a month and a half now and i've only just got round to showing it to you guys for some reason um maybe it's because it was so hot for ages i don't know but look how gorgeous this is i'm obsessed i love it so it's this knit dress and it's got all of this gorgeous ribbing it's giving me like kate vibes and then look at the sleeves as well like just how i like them really long and you've got a little split going up oh, i just think it's so cute this also comes in cream i've styled it with a belt because it's just a little bit long for me and then i've also paired it with some knee-high boots which i think is such a nice combination i need to shoot this and wear this asap before it gets too cold because i love it and you could also wear this with like black tights as well and a blazer or a coat over the top but i feel like this is the outfit so you want to wear this without anything over it but i absolutely love this do you know what you could also wear this for an evening out um, like for dinner or something like that it's just so cute i really love this one i'm so happy i bought this oh and for size reference i wear this one in an extra small i would say it's definitely true to size if you're between sizes go down oh what just turned off if you're between sizes then go down just so it has that extra like fitted look because it has a really nice waist wait should i take off the belt and show you yeah can you see how it really comes in at the waist um i think that's very flattering so yeah this one was definitely a winner this next outfit might be my favorite this blazer is from mango i picked this up yesterday on the oxford street store and oh, i love it so much look at it i've actually got one kind of similar let me show you this one is from mango maybe one or two years ago but they are this one's like a really rich almost like a reddish tone whereas this one is much more brownie and it's got a chevron and this one is like a houndstooth but yeah mango blazers are just so perfect because they have this perfect mix of masculine and feminine so you've got the masculine kind of like padded shoulders structuring but it also does slightly come in at the waist um i do size up in the blazers i'm wearing a medium and as you can see it does look a little bit big for me but that's how i like it and then i've also paired it with some tights these are brown tights i normally wear brown tights in the winter over black i just think they're more flattering and they kind of have that like warm undertone whereas black sometimes has like a gray undertone um it's okay when you're tanned but i find that when in the winter when i've got like quite pale legs it just makes my legs look gray so these ones are 
from Calzedonia. I think these are probably 15 denier, but I'll double check and if I'm wrong, I'll correct it in the description box. And then I've just paired it with some leather shorts to add some texture, a black top from Naked, and this is the look. I really love this. Um, oh, my shoes as well, sorry. My shoes are a pair of penny loafers from Saint Laurent. I've also got an edit on my LTK with loads of different ones in different price ranges if you're interested in getting a pair, but these are such a great autumn wardrobe staple. I love them. They're also incredibly comfortable and very practical as well. I love how they're a little bit more chunky. My other loafers and ballerinas are very dainty and that wouldn't work with something so top heavy like this outfit. So it's very nice for balancing an outfit out. This next outfit is low key a little bit school girly but I just love it. And this cardigan is gorgeous. This one is from Pretty Lavish. It's part of their uh, collection of Ada. She's another Instagram influencer. She is just stunning. And this is her edit with Pretty Lavish. And look how nice this cardigan is. It's kind of similar to the Kate cardigan, but not as fitted at the waist. It's just so cozy, ultimate autumn vibes. And I've just paired it with a shirt underneath, just for some added layering. Um, I've just realized I'm not wearing a necklace. I feel a bit weird and empty here. Same shorts and tights as before. And then these boots, which are my favorite, favorite winter boots from Bash. I just love how like sleek they are like chelsea boots but like a modern take on them and i just think they're very flattering so yeah i think this is a really cute look i'd obviously wear a bag of it as well oh yeah this is nice okay i'm excited to wear this now when you look at it from just here it's kind of like receptionist like old lady vibes but then when you look at it from here you're like okay like this is actually like an outfit and it actually looks nice okay and the last thing i've got to show you guys is this amazing knit from arquette it is so big and squishy. I like, look how like thick it is. And again, you've got those really long sleeves that I just love. And I love this so much, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I already have a lot of similar things. And I'm just not 100% sure on the neckline. It's kind of like scooped. And I prefer necks to be a little bit higher. I don't know why, I just think it suits me better. And it's obviously more warm and cozy in the winter. Um, but other than that, I really do love it. I think it's such a beautiful piece. I've just paired it with my Abercrombie leather trousers and my Chanel ballet flats again, and my Chanel bag. I just remembered as well, I've actually got one more thing, but it was too big, so I can show you, but I can't try it on. How perfect is this skirt for party season, Christmas season? I love it so much. It's giving me Magda Butrum vibes. This one's from Mango. I can just imagine this with a really nice black top, tights, stiletto heels um, or a blazer I just think it's so nice but it's too big I got this in a 36 and I should have got it in a 34 but I'll link it down below because I'm definitely gonna buy the 34 but yeah I just love the roses they're so pretty and it's quite a mini skirt as well and you've got like a little slit detail here um, so I'm sad about taking this one back. Okay, so that was everything I've got to show you guys in this week's video. I hope you enjoyed the style, a bit more casual. I for sure enjoy it way more because it feels so much more natural. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favourite look and if you're going to be buying anything, I'd also love to know that because I'm quite nosy when it comes to these things. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.